Media, um, you know, it's going through a magnificent change. Uh, for some of us, if, if you're a media in journalism, it looks a bit bleak, but in other ways, I think some things nearly need to die to be born again. And I think we're seeing that happen now with, with media. How, how, do you, how would you sum up the time we're in and, and how AOL is, is trying to bring, bring media into a more productive and maybe profitable future? No, I think, obviously, for many media publishers and media companies, it is profitable based on advertising revenues. But you're right, of course, when we look at it from a journalistic perspective, obviously we've seen traditional media not doing so well, and obviously transitioning into digital has been difficult. Um, and I think we are at that inflection point right now where we are trying to figure those new models out. And that's also why it's an exciting time. You know, I think we haven't really seen a subscription model that's working. I know that the people want quality content, but you know, the internet for a long time, everything has been free and it's been 100% advertising based. And I think you know, we need to move to a world where advertising is there, but we also have you know, uh, working uh, subscription models. And, and I think you know, putting a paywall around things are not necessarily the solution. We need to be smarter than that. Uh, we need to use technology to solve that problem for us. I think at the end of the day, you know, here at the Web Summit, I think there's around 40,000 people. We could have a subscription model for each of those 40,000 people because with technology, that's kind of something that's possible. Right? So I think we're, we're not really using technologies to leverage that side of the equation. And then I think also the way uh, journalists work uh, has to change. You know, obviously using technology, using data in, in, in new ways, you know, understanding how to tag things, understanding the importance of, of um, you know, getting into social media and to have the same story amplified. Because uh, I think that's one of the things that I've seen when I was at HuffPost is the importance of headline testing, for instance. You know, that could be the difference between 10,000 people watching it and 10 million people watching it. You know, same piece of work, same three, four hours you spend in the story. And spending an hour on testing a couple of different headlines actually makes a big difference in this new world. And I think those are things that um, that are obviously changing the way we used to work and the uh, and the past. But uh, but those are the things we need to lean into. Uh, in your job, I mean, uh, you're uh, over uh, products like the Huffington Post, TechCrunch, a lot of great titles that we're all very familiar with here. But every time I talk to someone from AOL, I hear this one word: programmatic, 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 all the time. And it's I, I, I don't, I, I'm fascinated with it, and it, and it looks interesting. How do you merge the world of content with programmatic advertising? Um, how, how do you guys see it all working out? No, I think from our perspective, it's really a barbell, right? At uh, one one end of the spectrum, you have the premium side of things, and that's the owned and operated properties, and those are extremely uh, important for us. Uh, we're we're still across the AOL ecosystem. We're touching 500 million people on a monthly basis. So, so in Comsco, that's 500 me million unique visitors, right? That's that's significant scale, and obviously that's that's hugely important because. People that are coming on our properties, obviously, from a CPM perspective, we're able to monetize that at a higher rate than when we put it through the programmatic. So basically, what we want to try to do is obviously sell the majority of our audience through premium, getting the best rates for that. You know, so we have money to reinvest in quality content, and then the stuff that we can sell through that will will go to the programmatic platform. And, and obviously, that needs to be automated because we can't afford to have a lot of people selling the same piece of content. Uh, um, so that needs to happen through machines. So I think that's why this uh, barbell works really well. You know, it, it, it really needs to balance out uh, the premium and the programmatic side of things. Mobile is the big word of the time. I mean, uh, I don't know how much how much it doesn't go through mobile now. I mean, it, it's 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 the, the screen of our time. I mean, how are you guys aligned with mobile? I mean, as I mentioned, AOL. I remember AOL when it was like still an ISP and selling discs and putting free discs in newspapers. To now, it's an online property, and increasingly, every, every online property is being influenced by mobile. How, how, is, how is mobile impacted to AOL, and how, how are you transforming yourselves to meet further challenges in that area? No, I think that's that's a good question. Not only for AOL, but I think for everyone that operates in this space, you know, the shift from first from print to desktop, and now from desktop to mobile. You know, those shifts are huge, and I think even the, the shift that we're seeing from desktop to mobile. It, you know, has more transformational changes coming uh, on the back of it than it had from print. 
what I mean with that is that you know, in many ways, you can think that okay, desktop and, and mobile. You know, mobile is just a smaller screen, so we don't really have to change the way we do stuff. Uh, uh, you know, we just have to kind of squeeze it down so it can fit on, on the mobile. And that's actually not the way to do it. You know, mobile is becoming the first screen. So we should actually start with that screen. We should start to kind of create content for mobile. That means we need to think about, you know, is, does the story have to be shorter? Do we have to have video in it? You know, how do we serve up, you know, headlines? Is it the same headline that will work on the desktop? But you start with the mobile because the mobile now, you know, the, the business has now shifted to mobile. We have more than half of our audience is now on mobile devices. So that means that that is, should always be the starting point for us. And that's challenging everything we do uh, because, you know, if we're not doing it this way, then we do the same mistake that traditional publishers did when it went from print to desktop. You know, I don't know if you remember, but 10 years ago when that shift happened, newspapers basically said, you know, we're just going to take the newspaper and we're going to put it online and then it's going to work. And obviously it didn't work, which is why, you know, a lot of internet businesses like Huffington Post you know, suddenly came in and captured a huge audience. We want to make sure that we understand the mobile side of the equation so no one is going to eat our lunch as, as things are shifting to mobile.